Okay, y'all, we are going to, we're going to talk about a very sensitive subject, a subject that I don't think it's talked about a lot, and the subject is family. Family is a very, very sensitive thing for a lot of people, so we're going to talk about, you know, I, I brought up a, a question the other day, you know, if you have someone... In your life, whether it be a parent, a child, an aunt, uncle, relative, friend, doesn't matter. If you have someone in your life that is starting to have or has a negative effect on, on your, your marriage and your family. And let me be clear. When I say, I'm going to give you an example. When I talk about my family, I'm talking about me, Jennifer, Aaron, Allie, Anthony, me and Jennifer, and our children, but more specifically, me and Jennifer. So if there's anyone that's going to have a negative effect on our relationship, there's going to be a conversation. And I'm, I'm, I'll be honest with you, I have had to, if you don't mind me bringing this up, I've had to have conversations with my sister, I've had to have conversations with my mother-in-law, um, I have a brother that unfortunately uh, is, is, is not coming around. He's not coming around because, you know, unfortunately... That's more on him, though, in my opinion, but... Yeah, he, unfortunately, he's, he's got a, an issue with alcohol, so he just can't... He, he's, he's just not allowed in, in the environment. That's just one example. But what I'm seeing a lot of, I'm seeing people that allow outside people, in-laws, friends relatives. Yeah, this goes for friends too. It's not just your family. Yeah, 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 yeah. If, if you you're you're not if you're my friend and you're having a negative effect a negative effect on my relationship with my wife, you got to go. Here's what I think a lot of people don't realize. This right here, right here, this is number 1. Well, I'm number 2, but I am number 1. Yeah. Yeah, right. Number 1 right here. This relationship, I got to mm -hmm. protect it. So, if there's anyone that's going to try to come along and disrupt and cause negativity and cause strife. No peace in the house. No peace yeah. for my wife and I. And then, let me tell you something. And I know this is, it's, it's going to be a tough one for a lot of y'all. That includes your children. If my children, and they don't, but if my children started having a negative effect on our relationship, I got to distance myself. They can't come around. If I've got a, a, a mother-in-law, a father-in-law, a sister-in-law that's having a negative effect on this relationship, there's going to be a boundary. You know, so this is a very sensitive subject. And I see that it causes a lot of issues in a, in a lot of relationships. It does. May, I will say this. Grown, grown children that have already left the home or maybe still live in the home that are having a negative effect on a marriage... No. That 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 child, I'm sorry, you may not feel the same. That child does not uh, come before my uh, spouse or your spouse. It shouldn't. No one should come before your spouse. That includes your children. That includes your children. Yeah. <laughs> so I'm just going to, I'm going to leave that out there. I want to see who agrees and disagrees with that. Because I can almost guarantee you this. The people that disagree don't have peaceful marriages. 100%. The people that agree, the people that are okay with boundaries, they're going to have peace in their marriage. You cannot allow people from the outside to affect your, your relationship. And I see it so often. Yeah. And people, I think, feel guilty, especially if it's the holiday or events mm -hmm. feeling guilty and wanting to have those people over. I'm sorry. 
I, I, I have no guilt not inviting somebody to yeah. my house that yeah. uh, disrupts my peace. You bring a negativity to my house, you're not getting an invite. Mm -mm. Now, I'll have a conversation with you first. I'll give you a heads up. Hey, look, I can't have that. Look, I've had this conversation with friends. I'm not going to name names. I'm not going to, I'm not here to call people out, but I, you know, I had a conversation with a friend of mine once. I said, listen, man, I absolutely love you when you're sober. I kind of like you when you're tipsy. I do. I like you when you're a little tipsy. I don't, I don't like you at all when you're drunk. And guess what? You can't come to my house when you're drunk. That's an example right there. You got to have boundaries with people just because they've been your friend a long time just because they're an in-law, just because they're a, ch a grown child or even a young child, you you have to set boundaries to protect your marriage. I want to know what your guys' thoughts are. Post in the comments what your thoughts it's are. It's not just protecting your marriage. It's protecting your peace. Your peace. Yeah, Peace is so important. Like, people live in such high-tension homes, and so much of that can be alleviated yeah, by just tweaking some things yeah. that boundaries. don't need to be done. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. That's all. Yeah, I agree. Yeah, we've managed to do that. Yeah. I'll give you an example and then we'll we'll hang up. I have a rule in my house. <laughs> I have a rule in my house. You can't talk about the three D's. What are the three D's, babe? Death, divorce, do No. What? I don't know. Death, destruction, disease. Oh, okay. That You're was not talking. That. I don't want to hear any of that in my house. Yeah, you don't. We keep it positive. All right. Let me know what you guys think. I love you guys. So does Jesus. You want to add anything to that? No. You good to what? <laughs>